It should never come as a surprise when you fire somebody. Uh, we're talking about coaching and feedback and bringing people up into greatness. Um, but when you fire somebody, it should be like really truly a last resort thing. Um, whether somebody is a poor performer or they have a bad attitude or, or whatever, it, it is important that like we approach that conversation and situation where we come from a place of support and coaching and try to bring that person into greatness before we let them go. Uh, and the way that we approach that conversation, I think, is also like is very challenging. It's the most, it's the most like fear-ridden, anxiety sort of piece of being a leader is to have those really challenging conversations with people um, or potentially threaten their jobs. And I think that like the way we go about that is to be very direct, right? You sit down and be like, hey, this performance, this behavior that I'm seeing from you um, is out of alignment with what is acceptable here. And if this doesn't change, your job is at stake. And I think it's important for people to understand that like that is the seriousness of this conversation, but this is not from a place of like, turn this thing around or you're fired. I think we also have to frame up that language where like, I'm coming from a place as a leader from a place of support and coaching to be like, I will do everything in my power to bring you up into greatness and to help you and give you what you need. So like, what do you need from me to support you, to help you get to where you need to be so that you can be successful here in these ways um, and sort of approach that in a collaborative way. Um, and this is a call for leaders because this really truly does rely on your skill and ability to coach people and frame and have these challenging conversations and dive right in because we cannot avoid them. You cannot keep poor performing and like toxic attitude people inside a team and have it be successful. You have to address those things and you have to either remove those bad apples, right, or coach people up into greatness. And um, a book that I plug all the time that I will continue to plug until the end of the universe is Fierce Conversations by Susan Scott. It is a step-by-step -step walk through guide of how to have that conversation with somebody and turn the performance around in a collaborative, supportive way that sort of elicits their engagement, um, that you know just delivers that message in a very clear, articulate way without the emotional load behind it to be like, we need to be awesome together. I want to help you. So how do we do that together? Um, it's yeah, it's really, really important, but that's it. As you, as your responsibility as a leader, you need to be able to basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you would be like hockey. Oh, because like, I'm Canadian. Yeah, just like throw in some Canadian, like some Canadian, I don't know, jargon. Like, throw in a Canadian metaphor. Like about moose, ice fishing. Do moose play hockey? Molson ice. You are hurtful. <laughs> basketball, oh, basketball.